In this lesson we're going to look at Hooke's Law and by the end of the lesson you should be able to learn what Hooke's Law is, learn the equation used when observing Hooke's Law and learn what the shape of a graph for Hooke's Law would look like. So first off, what is Hooke's Law? This law states that for an elastic body, the extension it undergoes is proportional to the load producing it so long as the elastic limit is not exceeded. The symbol we use for load is F since it is a force that we are looking at here and the symbol for extension is X. Now an elastic limit is simply the point at which the elastic body will permanently be deformed. So now that we know what Hooke's Law is, we can take that statement and analyze it. From the statement itself, we see that F is proportional to X. Now, we know that if we have to change a proportionality relationship between quantities, what we have to do is simply remove the symbol for proportionality, replace it with an equal sign, and then we multiply one of the quantities, in this case we take X, by a constant and this constant is called simply the constant of proportionality. In this case, for Hooke's law, we will call it the elastic spring constant. Now that we've taken Hooke's law and developed an equation, we can see that this equation resembles a straight line graph passing through the origin if we plot force against extension. This straight line simply represents the elastic region, and it is the region along which the body itself will return to its original shape once the deforming force is removed. The gradient of this region would tend to give the value of the elastic spring constant. Beyond this region we have what is called the fracture point and the plastic region. The plastic region exists along this line where the body becomes permanently deformed and the fracture point is at the end of that region when the body itself splits because it is no longer able to withstand the force. If it is that you were to plot extension against force, the curve would point in the other direction and the fracture point would be at this location here. The gradient, however, would represent 1 upon k since this region would be extension divided by force. You must pay attention to what it is you are plotting, if it is force against extension or extension against force, so that you'll be able to obtain information correctly. If it is you have any questions, you can also reference these two texts or you can simply send me a message and I will answer your questions. Thank you.